Hello everyone, tonight we will take the train and head to Lao Cai. We will probably reach around in the morning 5 or 6 a.m. We booked this train on EasyBook platform. I will link the website below. You guys can check it out. It's around 30 plus Sing dollar SGD. As you guys can see, this is a sleeper train, means you can lie down fully on the train and it's comfortable. There's free drink, free snacks. We choose to take the train because we can save one night of accommodation. And in the morning, we plan to explore Herco, which is in China, just uh, beside the border of Vietnam. And also opt for the sleeper bus which run from Hanoi to Lao Chai or Hanoi to Sapa also around the same price in Vietnam it's best you learn a few Vietnamese words example like if you want to say hello you say Xin Chao and if you want to say excuse me or sorry you say Xin Loi and if you want to say thank you you say Cảm ơn the local will give a good laugh probably due to your pronunciation but that's all right maybe you'll get a good discount or good price you never know for this sleeper train you can choose a four bed or two bed the price also varies depending on which type of bed you choose from and if you want to ask about where is the toilet you say Nya Wesin or Dao Nya Wesin or Dao as you can see we woke up with a rainy day such a good right now it's around 6 a.m. in the morning and we're gonna head out and look for a hotel to put our luggage and also look for some breakfast if you guys are planning to go to China be prepared for the visa and health decoration Now we are crossing border to China, Herco. Let's take a walk and see what's the difference. It's very fast, only less than five minutes, then we cross the border already. The whole immigration process took less than one hour, which is very impressive. And it is still raining, so we just walk around the city and chill around. We found this very interesting building, which is a train station. There is also a tourist map and for you to check it out what in place of interest you want to visit. In the end we rented a electric scooter and tour around the city. They didn't even check our license. You just have to leave a deposit and a ID card will do. It is around 20 RMB per hour. But if you don't have RMB, you can also pay by Vietnamese Dong. Just be careful with the traffic and do not go against the traffic. You can see that the Vietnamese are carrying a big luggage. So inside there's all shoes, shirt that is made from China. So apparently they are taking all the goods and back to Vietnam and sell it at a higher price. So now we decided to charter a car and head straight back to Sapa. And we at first we plan to take a public bus which is cheaper but as we are four person we decided to just charter a van and head straight to Sapa. It is so convenient and we do not have to wait for the passenger which is a public bus. You need to wait at least 30 minutes to get all the people filled up before the bus will move. The journey from Lao Cai to Sapa is around 
30 to 45 minutes depend on which type of vehicle that you took our driver told us that this is the newest road that they built to head straight to Sapa which is faster and safer so for four packs it costs around 700,000 dong to transport back to Sapa we will stay in Sapa for four days which will visit Pansipan Mountain, Kekat Village and Mong and Zhao Cultural Village In Sapa, the average temperature in October is around 15 to 25 degrees Celsius so you can carry a windbreaker or just a light jacket will do and we've reached the city of Sapa around 6 p.m. and the skies get dark here very, very fast. We decided to rent a motorbike and head straight to the night market for our dinner. The night market closed around 11 to 12 p.m. and most of the shop in Sapa closed around 10 p.m. This is the best dessert I ever had in Vietnam and according to the shop owner, I opt for the traditional one which is like tofu and some jelly. There is also a variety of barbecue food for you to choose from, seafood, vegetable, meat, etc. There is a lot of local here, the prices are affordable and we spend around less than 1 million dong for 4 packs. Today is a Wednesday so you do not see a lot of crowds around the main area but if you came during Friday or Saturday you see a lot of Vietnamese tourists around
Alright, see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.